What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel today. As you are going to see on the screen here, uh, tomorrow is going to be the true anniversary of the game. 365 days spent on the game. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in the game. Uh, I never missed any day. And so in this video I'm going to talk about everything I think about the game, everything we had implemented to the game and uh, we are going to discuss about that. So. Let's begin. The game released last year in September and the first week of the game was the best one in my opinion because in PvP here we had no zone. Uh, we were fighting against the players of the same servers. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm on server 2 for example and I was fighting against people of the server 2 only and so the first week was so pleasant and we had hope. Uh, it was like, yeah, we are gonna. Uh, it's gonna be way easier to get some rewards, etc. Because yeah, if you have a look to the uh, ranking here on the ranking, you get a ton of rewards if you are uh, ranked correctly. I w I've never been able to reach the top three at the end of the week after the first week of the game. This is terrible. That was a terrible move and today I'm pretty sure that you are feeling that because uh, we have a lot of server merges. Uh, for example, recently I was with the server 1 to 5 and recently they decided to merge the server 6 with us. And so now we have more whales and it's harder to compete in the classic arena but it's even harder for players who were struggling on the, on the second zone. Also, they, um, they, it's, it's even harder, in fact, if you are on a recent server because they are merging servers more frequently and uh, uh, yeah, this is going to be really, really hard for you and uh, people won't like it. I'm pretty sure that you really don't like it. Tell me that in the comment below, but this is really a bad idea, ruining the game experience, but this is to force people to spend. I'm pretty sure this is the, this is why the reason why they are merging servers. They are saying that this is because uh, there are no enough players, not enough players, and so they are forced to merge servers. Uh, but in fact, I'm pretty sure that this is just because if you uh, are if you are uh, in top 10 maybe or in top 20, if you go on the uh, server more recent than yours, uh, then you are going to fall down maybe in top 50, something like that, and then you are going to be fr frustrated and you are going to have to spend if you want to, uh, to get higher. <laughs> this is the way they work. It's sad, but this is the, g the way they work. So this is all about... Uh, the arena, the first week, then they decided to add some new content in the game. Uh, we had the first uh, holiday events uh, for Halloween, and we had a new, the first limited hero. Little Jack was the first limited hero. Today he is one of the strongest limited hero in the game for PvE, but let's be honest, when he was first released, he was one of the worst hero in the game. People spent to get him, but they were mad having spent for that bad hero. And people who couldn't afford to buy that hero were really happy because it wasn't mandatory back in time. And that was great. That was great. And it should have remained this way, in my opinion. Because in December, when they released Nicholas, everything changed in the game. For example, I was using... I was using Elik, I was using uh, Lucifer, and he, I was... Top 3, top, top 4 in PvP, top 4 in top 10, super easy because th they, there were some strategy in PvP but today, <laughs> after uh, Nicolas, I wasn't able to get Nicolas exclusives in December I had him exclusive 0 and then I lost maybe 15 or 20 uh, ranks in PvP and that was insane. I was one of the top tier hero uh, player and then <laughs> just because I didn't have uh, Nicolas Exclusive 3, uh, I was I lost 20 places in in PvP. The, that was insane. And he was allowing people to farm so uh, much content in the game super easy just because of the apple and all the stuff he was giving. It was clearly unbalanced back in time. And then they released more uh, stages in dungeons. 
30 to 35. People were uh, who had a Nicolas Exclusive 3 were farming a stage 35. It wasn't changing a lot because the drop rates are not way higher than the drop rates we have here. It's not the same for uh, the um, stage 36 to 40 where you have a big difference with other stages. But yeah, it was Nicolas ruined, changed completely the game experience people had. But outside of that, they were adding more content to the game. Uh, the first holiday we had new space temples and we had a legendary phantom dragon eye at the end. But it was really hard, people complained. And then they decided to... Um, to remove the eye later. In December, we still had the eye, but the content was way harder than the previous one. It was a freaking joke. We need to beat a we needed to beat Rudolf or uh, Nicholas at the end. You can have a look to my video on it. It was a nightmare to beat them. And uh, uh, so people complained and they decided to remove completely the, the legendary Phantom Dragon Eye in this kind of content. And then people were mad. Why? Uh, we are saying that the content is too hard. You lower the difficulty and then you are uh, removing the reward, saying now it's not hard enough to acquire the best reward. <laughs> this, that, was, that was really bad, really, really bad move. At the beginning, they were doing a really, really bad move, not listening to the community, um, and that was bad for the game. So many players left at this, at, back in time back in this time. Um, then they decided to add more content to the game. The second new limited hero was Pauline. <coughs> he came in at the end of January and he was really interesting and completely bre ga game breaker. In, in PvP, he is still one of the most annoying hero in the game. Uh, sometimes I wish he could be removed. <laughs> He is such an annoying hero, in fact, you can't control anymore the team in front of you just because of him. You can't play an Asindo if you have a Pauline in front of you. And Asindo was a key hero to PvP. Uh, they decided to rework some uh, heroes also, they reworked uh, Brynhild. And she became the worst nightmare of everyone in PvP. Because she was uh, completely broken. And one more time, it was a bad move, in my opinion. Because when they released content, every time it felt like it was clearly overpowered every time, unbalanced. And if you didn't have the new things, then you, you, you were struggling. And that was the case with Pauline, that was the case with Nicholas, that was the case with Brynhild. And that was really bad. They were still not listening to the community in January, in February. They decided to release more content in the game. They added some quests, the bounty quests, on which we could acquire more stuff, more food, more XP potions, more mythic shards, and that was great. Uh, they decided to... I remember that they decided to lower the difficulty of the boss on floor 30 of the tower, and that was a great move. That time they listened to the community and that was a great move. Um, they did other stuff like that. Uh, they also decided to increase the rewards we had on this kind of event. Before, we couldn't get a lot of wishes inside. Let's be honest, we had other rewards than wishes. And today, if you are spending some gems in this kind of event, even if you are free to play, you are going to acquire a lot of excellent and uh, supreme wishes, and this is so freaking great. Before, <laughs> it was so hard to acquire some wishes. You needed to spend a lot in order to get some. And today, we can acquire more. Uh, so, we still have bad rates and the PD is still at 150, uh, so it's still really hard to obtain some heroes and the rates of heroes is really, really bad. Let's talk about the rates of heroes. Uh, we had the beginner wish also, they added that you need to spend just a little and you can get great heroes inside. But now we know the truth. We know that heroes have different tiers. And depending on their tier, they have different drop rates. It's not written here, but it was written on the beginner wish. And we know that because if you have a look to the heroes you can summon, 
All the time, you have the same heroes every time, every time. Here you have, for example, on the last miracle, which is Hezenja. How many Hezenja dropped during the East event? Yeah, of course he had more, more drop rate than others. Same for Dakota. And I would love them to show us the real drop rates of heroes. We all know today that we have bad different rates on heroes. So please, if you see the video, if you watch the video, please change that. Put the rate somewhere that, so we can see, we can know exactly what we are pulling for. Oh, and also they added this kind of hero quest every month. And this is really interesting because in that you can get a lot of um, other rewards for free. And also you can get a legendary hero at the end. I would love to get, uh, to get the choice every time. Here for the anniversary, this is exclusive to the anniversary. We have a chest on which we can choose one of the three heroes inside. Uh, so this is a great feature. I love that. I would appreciate to have a legendary Phantom Dragon Eye inside. So if we don't like the hero inside, we can pick the legendary Phantom Dragon Eye. It would be great. Uh, but yeah, it is another thing that is really interesting. So uh, next to that, they decided to add a lot of content to the game. The Elemental City. <laughs> the Elemental City. <laughs> that was a great idea. But the reward sucks and still sucks today. We, we have to do that every two weeks. And the only good reward inside is, yeah, you get the skill up. You get the purple eye. But it's only a purple eye. And the content is really hard and we get only a purple eye. If you have a look to... Other gacha games, normally when you clear the last stage, you get the best reward. And I, I'm still saying that today we should get a legendary Phantom Dragon Eye in here. It's really hard to achieve. So give us a great reward. Because let's be honest, the heroes inside here, uh, Donald Rebelly is a, a, a great hero in PvP. O'Grady is one of the best heroes in PvE. And that hero, I'm trying her at the moment, but got her only exclusive 2, and exclusive 2, she sucks. Let's be honest, she is not great. And uh, another thing, we are forced to make a choice. I mean, I've cleared the entire rotations of the Elemental City, and with the exclusive, I'm forced to choose one of these three heroes. If I don't have that hero, uh, I have an handicap for a PvP. If I don't have that hero, I'm going to have an handicap for PvE. <laughs> but I'm forced to, to make a choice. And I really don't like that. I mean, people spend, they want normally to have the exclusives, etc. It's not balanced. Stop forcing us to make a choice. <laughs> How many times I'm getting wrecked in PvP because I don't have Donald Rebelly in my team. But in PvE, I can farm really high just because I have her. This is not balanced. And talking about this content, the secret rooms are really hard to beat because this is another kind of faction abyss. You need a full faction team and the last stages are so freaking hard to beat. But at least we have more heroes today. We have a bit more food, yet just a bit more because we are still lacking some food. It's still a nightmare to upgrade, to upgrade heroes. I, I still feel like we need more than that. Then they decided to add the uh, guild boss number 6 here. And that was a great idea. Giving a lot of things to the game. Even if you are not uh, getting the highest score. Uh, I'm pretty sure that in your guild, many times a player came to you uh, showing them their score. Reaching only the 100 million and getting the, the epic purple eye. And you... Reaching the 400 million, you never get the purple eye. I'm pretty sure it happens a lot of time. In fact, it happened a lot of time to me. And yeah, even if you are reaching 100, 200 million da uh, damage on the bus, you get a lot of rewards. And this is really nice because here the difference, yeah, it's doubled. Uh, but trust me, it procs r not r that often, in fact. So great content added here. And then... We had also uh, the new weathering cost, the broken land recently, and they decided to uh, to put some new stages in dungeons here, 36 to 40, 
and they listen to the community because they decided to uh, first add mythic gear inside here yeah for with a very low rate but still and in my opinion and i'm still saying that today it would have ruined one more time the game experience of course there are some whales the krakens they can farm this content and they would have way more gear and yeah the mythic gear is giving so much to your heroes it's game changer so in my opinion it, it would have be, been a bad idea and so they listened to the community they removed it from here uh, and they decided to add them on the new uh, guild boss here and that was a great idea because here even if you have a bad score if you can reach the 800 million you can still have a 15 shards here and the difference between here and what I am able to farm today I'm here but if you have a look to the scores they are only five players who can reach this tier so if normally the majority of whales are situated here above that score 40 if you reach 800 you can you you can get half the shots so in my opinion this is still interesting and you get these normal dragon scales and this is so freaking great this is so freaking great i i had so we had a lot of them and in Upgrading your gear from purple to a legendary is still so freaking great today and we, we get a lot of rewards every week we get one more skill up we get more gems and talking about gems <clears throat> talking about gems today we get a lot of gems in comparison with before and because we have so many events to, in the game and if you remember in December we were struggling to acquire some gems and today we get a ton and I freaking love that. So yeah, there are great things added to the game. There are many bad things such as limited heroes because today, let's be honest, they are bringing many uh, new limited heroes to the game and they are all great heroes. And if you are not spending uh, fortunes to get them when they are released, then you can't spend eyes on them. And in fact, <laughs> you are going to lose places in PvP. And you are not going to be able to farm high enough in dungeons. But they are listening more to the community. And I really do hope that they are going to change something about the limited heroes in the future. Because they are broken. Talking about one of uh, the limited hero, I don't remember the faction. Um, this is Lydia. Yeah, it was that I, Lydia. She is so broken today. She brings so much to your team and this is passive bonuses given to your team and so this is completely broken. Protecting your team by a lot, increasing the damage you are going to do, in, uh, lowering your cooldowns passively, removing buffs passively. This is something sh that should be removed from PvP. This is completely broken. You are doing nothing and every time you are stealing the buffs from enemies, if you have a Nordak in your team, then uh, the enemy is gonna have the damage immunity even without having Nordak in the team. And this is completely broken. <laughs> so we have many good things, we have many bad things. And we have also the Broken Land, in broken land introduced recently with some uh, Echoes. And the Echoes are a kind of aura system to put on your heroes. Uh, first, I thought it wasn't that broken, but in fact, if you have a look to this one, for example, if you click here, look at the amount of HP you can get on your hero if it is maxed out. Of course, if you summon some, they listen to the community also because they decided to uh, put back that system to convert your uh, wishes into echoes. Uh, 100 per week instead of 100 and then uh, illimited amount but two excellent into one so if you want to summon some echoes you can still do that but uh, if you don't have maxed out sanctuary do you really want to do that i don't know talking about the sanctuary it's another broken thing we had the sanctuary it it was uh, maxed at 14k before 14k it was the maximum we could reach before and they, they decided to add 4k more points in it 
and uh, look at the the stats you can get on your heroes when it is maxed out. 50% more HP, 38% more attack, 38% more defense, a lot of crit rate, crit damage, effect hit 32%, mastery 37, and the tenacity. Tenacity brings a lot in PvP. Uh, you are taking 30, that means if you have the 30%, you are taking 30% less crit damage. And they decided to add the Incarnate Sanctuary, the most broken thing in the game at the moment. But it's, it requires to be such a whale. <laughs> Let's be honest, you need so many exclusives on your heroes to increase your Incarnate Sanctuary here. And the bonuses it, it, it gives to you is just insane. Uh, here, for example, you get a bit more drop rates in PvE. Uh, this is not going to change a lot of things. For example, uh, if you are farming uh, stage 35, you are going to have 4% chance to get legendary gear and add just 5%. This is, gonna, this is not going to be 45 per, four, um, it's, it's not going to be a 4 plus 5%. It's going to be 5% of 4%. That means you are going to have maybe a 4.1%, something like that, and even less than that. So uh, this is not, it doesn't change a lot of things. Then uh, beat utilities, okay. And then that one is broken for PvE. If you have that in PvE, you are going to be way more tanky. Uh, in Faction Abyss, this is game changer. And the tenacity, I know some players, uh, yeah, this is some uh, top Krakens. They have maybe 30% more tenacity here, that means in PvP they have the 60% tenacity without the gear. 60, they are going to take 60% less crit damage. This is completely game changer. More HP on defenders, more attack crit damage on attackers, more effect hit on supports, more resistance. I've <laughs> I, I saw a Pauline reaching 250% resistance in a classic arena, he was played with Nicolas, so he had a 35, 37 more effect hit, and with his uh, buff with the first exclusive, he get 50% more. So in fact, he has something around 170% effect resistance with the gear, and that was insane. But then you have great bonuses too here. Bleeding damage bonus, piercing rate on attackers, this is game changer in PvP, and I know that you have another one right here. If you jump there, you have another 10%. Imagine having 20% attacker piercing rate. The piercing rate is such a great thing today. This is so powerful, you are going to ignore a lot of the defense of the enemy. 20% of the defense, in fact. This is so freaking hard hardcore. If you have that... Of course, you are you are gonna have a big advantage over players. Um, then you have also more and more drop rate increase, and so the higher you are, the higher the drop rates, and of course it's gonna change something uh, when you have more. I remember on the big account I had, uh, I had something around 20k uh, in the, the incarnate sanctuary. And uh, uh, I was dropping so many epic and legendary gear. But I was farming only stage 35. And I was dropping more legendary gear than today on my main account when I'm farming the stage 40. So yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. This is completely broken. So, um, t we, we have a lot of rewards today. Let's be honest, even if you are free to play, you have way more than before. Uh, also because they added the one week challenge on which you can acquire a Hezenja if you are uh, able to clear the campaign in seven days. I made a video on that, you, or you can do that. Also because today you have even more, you have the echoes. If you get a bit of echoes at the beginning, you can increase the stats of your heroes, and even if you have some blue ones, it's going to increase a lot the damage and the, the resistance of your heroes. It's going to help you a lot to clear the campaign in 7 days. Uh, so you have many things. They are adding a lot of content to the game, and I love that. And um, if, if there was no whale, no kraken in the game, the game would be dead. The game would be dead because... They are earning a lot of money, and thanks to that, they are they are able to pay developers, and developers can make some new content, and we can still play one year after. I played a lot of game before, 
and I never felt that. Here I'm attached to the game and I'm playing, I'm playing it every day and I'm spending so much time with, uh, trying my teams in PvP, Classic Arena, Advanced Arena, Champion... They, there is a championship also today. Uh, really uh, pay to win, of course it is. If you have a look here, you get a ton of rewards in here and you can vote for other players. Vote for me, please. Vote for me. I won the fight here. Uh, there was 80% of the, of the player base uh, think, voting for that guy. I'm sorry you lost some miracle wishes. Vote for me. I'm gonna win that round. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win that one. I'm confident. Um, <laughs> and you, you get a lot of rewards here. Especially if you can uh, be ranked on the 64 first. You can get that. This is great to have a another skill up. But you can have that chest to get the uh, rune you want. And if you can reach the top 16 of course you're, go you're gonna have more. But then it's really random. So, the qualifications are interesting, but after that, it's so freaking random that even the best players can be eliminated because they had bad luck. But this is still an interesting content. And they are, they are planning to add more content to the game, and it's a kind of fair play arena on which you, doesn't, you don't need to spend in order to get the heroes, you're gonna have the entire hero base. And uh, you are going to have some rewards based on your strategy only. And this is going to be interesting. They are planning to add a new faction. Yeah, talk, talking about the faction. We have the, this new faction. They released a lot of heroes inside. N not every hero is, gr is good, okay? Uh, we had some Villet and Edith. They are so freaking bad. Uh, we had some other heroes. Uh, they are releasing a, a ton of heroes. Before, they, was re they were releasing two heroes two new heroes every two weeks and now they decided to calm down and have only one new hero every two weeks uh, so it's um, it's more interesting in my opinion we have a ton of heroes today many new heroes every time and you can use a lot of heroes but there is another problem because look at my box uh, okay today i have so many built heroes but because I'm, I'm a content creator, I have some rewards uh, making content and I'm a big spender also. So yeah, I built a lot of heroes also because I want to showcase some heroes, etc. So this is normal for me. Uh, but here, look at all the heroes I, I have and that are useless. I'm not building them because they are completely useless. Useless, uh, interesting, okay, she can be interesting. Useless, 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 here also, useless. Every hero on which I click at the moment are useless. Maybe that one in the faction because we had only bad heroes. Useless. Mm hmm. Yeah. Outdated. Okay. They were great before, but now today they are not good. Useless. Useless. Uh, pretty sure he is useless. Uh, Thanatos maybe can be interesting today. Useless. 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 Useless, 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 great, but I, I'm lacking food. Useless, he is outdated today, so he is useless because Timmy is way better. Useless, <laughs> useless, yeah, this is, this is insane. How many heroes are useless? And look at how many I have in my box. They are just sleeping in my box. Just insane. So... Um, that, I think that was all for the video. I covered the majority of content. Yeah, we have the Broken Land also uh, released recently. Uh, they decided to listen to the community uh, by making a survey to optimize it. And this is a, another great thing. Uh, we have a lot of rewards inside and I really hope that tomorrow we are going to discover a new kind of uh, Broken Land. Uh, easier to beat and uh, giving more rewards and also faster to do. So another great content. And they are planning to release more content over time. So the game is pretty healthy at the moment. I can see that also with Aptoid because I, I see I can see how many players are spending in the game. And trust me, the game is clearly healthy today. Especially the last week, it was just crazy how much money players spent. Uh, 
I am voiceless, just voiceless. And thank you all to the supports on my channel using my promo code. You are, you are the best. Clearly, you are the best. Without you, I wouldn't be able to spend that much in a game and to make that many content in a game. Really, really a big thank you to everybody using my promo code. So that was all for the video. I hope you liked it. If it's the case, don't forget to uh, put a like on the video, comment and subscribe. Have a nice day and see you soon on another one. Bye-bye.